InfoPlus for genuine information. So, as a co you visit Kuragana Golagi, Mosanga Sat Mahonuncha, Dusit International Ga Group CEO, Miss Supazi Sutumpun. I would like to welcome her on the show. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you very much. Namaste. Namaste. How have you been? I've been fine and I'm very excited. Today marks a very special moment for mm -hmm. us of our return to Nepal. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very good day for us. That's absolutely for Nepal to have you here. Such a big brand. So let's start with the Dusit International itself. So what is Dusit International? What is Dusit Group? And what does it do? Dusit International or Dusit Group founded 75 years ago mm -hmm. by our uh, share lady. Uh, the name is Tanpu Ying mm -hmm. She has a vision and dream to introduce Thai hospitality to the world. Mm -hmm. I'm the third CEO of the group, and I'd like to also continue her legacy and her visions to bring Thai gracious hospitality to the world with a little bit of adjustment because we want to make sure that we bring in also standard and unique elements of mm -hmm. the local community. Mm -hmm. So therefore, to sit here, the graciousness here in Nepal would also add the elements of Nepal culture into it too. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful actually. So I've heard that uh, Dusit International has like opened two five stars hotels in Nepal. Uh, one in Dulikin, if I'm right, and the second one right here, right? Yes, so. this is actually Dusit Princess Kathmandu. Mm -hmm. And we also have another hotels in uh, Dulikil. Dulikil. Yes, Dusit Thani Dulikil. Absolutely a beautiful place. Very so, beautiful. So how do you see the potentials in Nepal for such a big brand? Nepal is actually always in our hearts because of their cultures, their the local connection, because the Nepalese and Thai has similarities in terms of hospitality. Yeah. So we see this uh, opportunity for us to bring the best of both worlds to integrate and offer to the world together. Particularly for Nepal, during COVID, I believe that uh, there was the world ranking that Nepal or Kathmandu in specific Mm -hmm. is the uh, number fifth in terms of most visited mm -hmm. destination, destination, which is actually very exciting. Mm -hmm. And also this year, I understand that the, the country aimed for uh, to reach about one million uh, traveler, international traveler coming in. So to me, I feel it is an opportune time for us to be back here to also uh, contribute to the, the growth of the tourism industry here mm -hmm. in Nepal. Definitely. So... In the process, how, how can this international and its services uh, help Nepal to meet the target of incoming tourists? Well, during COVID, we actually paused and trying to rethink of what the hospitality provider can provide, mm -hmm. given the trend after COVID, mm -hmm. right? Prior to COVID-19, uh, we focused ourselves to offer gracious hospitality to exceed expectations all the time to our guests. Mm -hmm. However, after COVID, there's also a trend about wellness, well-being. Mm -hmm. There's also a trend about sustainability. Mm -hmm. and another, yeah, there were multiple challenges after exactly, COVID, right? right? Uh -huh. And also another element called local connection, locality. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we can bring also this because we evolve ourselves to ensure that our gracious hospitality also include the other three pillars, not only the gracious services, but also wellness, well-being, locality, and sustainability. Mm -hmm. And that's what we bring to Nepal, to the Dusit Princess Kathmandu, and also to the Sitani in Dulekel. Mm -hmm. I would like to again congratulate on that. Thank you so much. Beginning. Here in Nepal after a very long time. Yes, thank so you so much. So we have uh, many other big brands, many other big multinational uh, hospitality brands, you know. I, I won't take the names, but how do you compare yourself with the Super International to other big brands here in Nepal? Well, we or in actually, South Asia, yeah. Well, we, we feel that we are unique. The uniqueness of us is, of course, I just already mentioned, the gracious hospitality that we have. Thai is actually known for gracious hospitality, and that is actually our DNA. Mm -hmm. So we care our customer, we commit everything to the customer, and our attitude is we can do everything to exceed the expectation, and we empower our people to always do that, to offer, you know, uh, services that exceed expectation always. And we also add more elements into what we offer. And that is actually make me, uh, make us uh, quite unique. 
not only the hospitality business that we have, we also have our own hospitality education. Yes. So therefore, we can ensure that our employees and also the other students who want to come into the hospitality industry mm -hmm. learn what mm -hmm. is actually about the gracious hospitality, mm -hmm. the global standard, but we also deliver with our passions uh, with the principle from our founder mm -hmm. and of course we do have food as well and as you know thai food is actually one of the it's actually one of the most popular dishes thank you so much you're very kind yeah. we actually one of the most i think yeah. there's also another delicacy that uh -huh. the other cuisine can offer but thai also quite outstanding as well yes. So that is actually where we can bring to make us a little bit more unique. Mm -hmm. So not only the hospitality, we also have educations. We also have the uh, the food uh, um, characters or mm -hmm. offering that we can integrate everything together to make us a little bit more unique. Mm -hmm. So you, you just mentioned education, so I would like to shift to the education of Thai hospitality. Yes. So you have uh, culinary schools, yes. other hospitality schools, colleges. So have you ever planned of uh, having colleges in Nepal? I actually consider, uh -huh. I'm actually exploring an opportunity right now. Mm -hmm. Because the world right now in the hospitality segment has lack of labor, uh -huh. as you probably yes. know. After the pandemic, you know, a lot of people left the industry. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, all over the place in the world have lack of labor in this, you know, the, this kind of skill. Mm -hmm. So I believe that Nepal, particularly Nepalese, uh, as I said, similar to Thai, uh, you have a very kind and also the hot, good hospitality. If we can bring our education here mm -hmm. to uplift and integrate the uh, industry standard, the competency that is actually global standard, I believe that we can also help supporting uh, Nepalese to have a, a very good skill mm -hmm. and not only offer that kind of uh, services here in Nepal, you can also do everywhere in the everywhere world. Everywhere you go. Right. So we are exploring an opportunity. Okay. So I have seen many of Nepalese going to Thailand for the studies, for especially hospitality sectors, education to get their hospitality education. So. Uh, what do you find in Nepalese students, like, or what do they long for? Well, Nepalese, as I said, similar to Thai. Even you, I thought that uh, if you're not speaking uh, English yes. to me, I thought you Thai as well. Uh, and I suppose you probably feel mm -hmm. the same to me. So we have so many things the same, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, Nepalese is actually... culture. Also. Right, culture, yes, you know, belief, books, you know, yeah. principle, diversity, mm -hmm. acceptance, right? So many, many things, we have a lot of similarity. So I never feel that Nepalese is actually stranger. I feel like, you know, we actually like a neighbor country which the same sort of principle mm -hmm. and belief. So therefore to add the elements of hospitality education here, mm -hmm. I can see, you know, a lot more similarity that we can bring the gracious hospitality mm -hmm. hospitality mm -hmm. to the world together. Okay. So how does the presence of Dusan International in future help in the tourism of Nepal tourism industry? How does it help? Well, as I say, you know, the one of the key elements of our graciousness is local connection. Mm -hmm. uh, bring along to, together with me here today, I also bring in a few medias. You know, mm -hmm. one is National Geography, oh, because wow. Nepal actually one. has a lot to offer in terms yes. of culture, in terms of, you know, the beautiful mm -hmm. scenery and, and all right, everything. everything, right? Yeah. So along with me is in National Geographic. I also bring along Bank of Post, one of the top, you know, the media here in Thailand. Mm -hmm. We also have another uh, uh, travel and leisure Asia together with me as well. And also the uh, the cloud is actually, you know, the, the new media in Thailand that mm -hmm. is uh, capture, you know, a lot of new generation okay. interests. And I have a full pack of agenda with them. So not only only visit the hotels, I also going to bring them to explore the local experience. Mm -hmm. And I hope that they can help me promote the country of Nepal. Mm -hmm. So not only that we are here just to offer the hotels, mm -hmm. but we want to offer a specific experience that the Nepalese and Nepal can offer to the world as well. Mm -hmm. So that is actually where I believe that we can contribute. Now I actually have a hotel here in Kathmandu, mm -hmm. this is Princess Kathmandu. I going to have another hotel in Dulikel. Mm -hmm. Beautiful scenery, as you probably know, yes, Dulikel more yeah. than me. Uh, 
nearby the hillsides of Himalayas, yes. right? Himalayan. The whole range. Yeah. Right, beautiful. And I plan, and I have a pipeline that I might also have another one in Lumpini. Yes. So if I do that, then I would actually have complete, you know, all the, uh, the very and uh, authentic and exotic uh, destinations to offer for Nepal. Mm-hmm. Also for Thai people? Thai people. Who come to Nepal? Of course, yeah. of course. So you, you so it was about Nepal whole, like many parts of the Nepal you're planning. So there's a five, five plan. So let's come to the global presence. So for any multinational company, uh, global presence is a must, or it's a very important factor. So to say international, this is international, how does it plan? to expand the numbers overall, globally? When I first joined this group as a group CEO in 2016, we were in about seven, eight, or seven or eight countries. Mm-hmm. But now, as we speak, we just add Nepal into our list again. So we're now covering 18 countries 18. Uh, from hotel operation. Mm-hmm. But if we cover also food operation, it's going to be 19 countries. Mm-hmm. Pretty much in Asia, Middle East, and also Africa. And we have a few in America as well. Mm-hmm. And that is actually how we like to grow or expand our footprint. Mm-hmm. But not only that, I believe that, you know, the the requirement or desire of the consumer behavior or the traveler require different kind of experience. We used to have only full service hotel, mm-hmm. but we also now get into the new landscape. We call it lifestyle hotel. Mm-hmm. We have another brand called Asai, uh, addressed to a millennial uh, segment, mm-hmm. uh, offer a lot of technology, offer a lot of sustainability, local connections mm-hmm. as the brand DNA of Asai. Mm-hmm. And also we have villas management. Mm-hmm. We have quite a few villas across in Asia. We have also the, the ski resorts in, in um, Japan, in Hokkaido as well. Because multinational travelers, um, multi-generation traveler, by the way, when they travel, they want to be together. But they, they want do, yeah. to experience the personalized services. Like they want to have personal butler. They want to have personal yeah, housekeeping. Yeah. They want to have personal chef mm-hmm. in the villa. So we do have that as well. We acquired a company called Elite Heavens mm-hmm. back in 2018. Mm-hmm. So we offer villa management as well. So from 27 properties, eight countries, uh, fast forward from 2016 to today, mm-hmm. we have about uh, 340 plus nearly 350 properties mm-hmm. across... 18, 19 countries. Mm-hmm. So that is actually how we plan ourselves. So the, we're trying to ensure that we first look into uh, those near nearby first. So therefore, we have a cluster of our operations just like this time. We are in Nepal, not only in Kathmandu, we also have one in Dulekel, and we also have planned to go into Lumbini mm-hmm. as well. Talk a little bit about Nepal. We, we just add Nepal into our expansion plan, uh-huh. right? I feel that Nepal is a, a good stepping stone for me to get into South Asia. Wow. Because South Asia to me is a main uh, source of market for our group mm-hmm. too. Because the growing of the populations of Indias and others, I believe that if we are here, we are actually close to uh, get into in the heart of South Asia. So you actually are my the penetration point, mm-hmm. which I'm very proud and have a privilege to be here. It's absolutely great and growing faster. The sub is going fast, faster. Thank you. And of course, Nepal is happy to have the sub international brand Thank like the sub international in Nepal. Thank you. you. Now coming to you in person, I oh. I, I really look up to you also. Uh, the sub was founded by a lady. That if I yes, yes that? Uh, the lady, oh. uh, the the lady name our visionary uh, visionary leader. Oh, the name was Tanwi Inchana. Mm-hmm. She founded this company 75 years ago. 75 years ago. Yes, That's with the ago. visions to bring Thai to the world. Mm-hmm. And I'm actually continuing her legacy now. Yes, you are. You are. I'm actually. the third uh, group CEO of the. And that to a lady. So yes. the company founded by a lady, now led by a lady as a group CEO. And you are such a powerful woman. Thank and you. you're also considered as a woman of the year in your country and Thank also you. in other, other countries, right? Thank so you. how do you see the hospitality sector uh, as a place, as a, as, a, as a significant place or sector for the women empowerment actually? Well, I feel that when it comes to professional, mm-hmm. there is actually uh-huh. gender neutral. 
<laughs> it's regardless of you know, actually your that's gender, right, yeah. right it depends on your core values mm-hmm. you know the your what you're good at mm-hmm. and you apply what you're good at to mm-hmm. what you do and i think you don't need to know everything 100% before you start doing it but you do 100% of what you know and contribute to the teams so team collaboration is also very important mm-hmm. so if you have a clear goal mm-hmm. clear objective like me mm-hmm. i actually have a clear objective to bring thai to the world mm-hmm. and bring gracious hospitality to the world together with my team no matter what they are right whether they are a housekeeper the gm of the hotels mm-hmm. or people at the headquarter if we share the same goal and you do 100% of what you know Mm-hmm. You don't need to know everything. So it's gender and neutral. so therefore, it's not really about gender. Yeah. But you need to also know what's your weakness, your strength, and you're trying to sharpen your strength mm-hmm. and demonstrate your strength, and you're trying to improve your weakness. And some of the weakness, you don't like it at all. So you find some collaboration with your team member to do it for you. So to me, it's not about gender. Mm-hmm. It's what who you it's are and you what are, you know person it's about person and it starts with purpose okay if you have a clear purpose and you want to create an impact then gender is doesn't matter that's beautiful that's such a wide words of wisdom thank you so we're now at the end of the show is there anything that you would like to say to me please or uh, any other audiences who are looking at you and hearing you thank you so much thank you to nepal thank you to nepalese It is an honor and privilege for me and Lucid to be here in Nepal once again, and I fully committed to bring all the gracious hospitality and trying to lift up the standard and trying to bring Nepal's to the world as well, promoting Nepal, what you have, the beautiful, you know, the cultures and everything. So thank you very much for having us here, and we commit to stay for a long time. Thank you, man. Thank you for your valuable time, and thank you for words of wisdom. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste. Info Plus for genuine information.